Hey everyone, welcome to Trucking Sustainably. I'm Jason Morgan. We are at the Volvo Trucks North America Customer Center in Dublin, Virginia. We got the brand new VNL here. We are gonna dive into some of the details and one of the specific details that I'm really looking forward to talking about is the 24 volt electrical infrastructure of the truck, right? This is a global platform that is enabling new solutions, technologies, and also sets the stage for what's to come as they've, they've noted that this new VNL is the platform for all powertrains going forward, right? Got diesel here, we got electric coming down the line, there's talk of hydrogen. What does 24 volt infrastructure mean? We're gonna talk with Chris Stadler, Volvo Trucks North America to find out, come along. Chris. Thanks for taking the time. Always great to see you. Good to see you, Jason. Wonderful VNL event that we're at here. We are actually in the VNL 860. This is like the driver's lounge almost, yes, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. It's got, got the perfect versatile foldable bunk, and you can sit down and do your paperwork like you got in front of yeah, me, or do right. a dinner if you want to. Yeah, or an interview, which or we'll do now. Exactly. I know I'm going to lobby for this to be the new Trucking Sustainably studio, because we got like <laughs> studio lighting. It's working out great. Exactly. So we've had a chance to get behind the wheel. Uh, we did some cool VR stuff on the safety side, but one of the things I wanted to touch on here with you is the 24 volt electrical architecture that's in this truck. I think the first time really in the market uh, here in North America coming in in a big way. Yes. What is the reason for that? What does that bring to the table? Well, I think what it, it gives us opportunity to utilize our, our global platform that we are, the, the global op, uh, neighborhood op, uh, environment that we're in, um, our global group, right. Volvo Trucks. They have the 24 volt system today in, in their in their trucks today, as you heard a little bit that it's used across the world. So it's it's not uncommon out there in the world today. Mm -hmm. uh, the 24 volt allows us to also bring that efficiency to the North American market. Mm -hmm. And what we see with 24 volts is it it brings more voltage but less amperage, which then uh, helps in not having as much heat going through the electrical system. Sure. So the great thing about the 24 volt on our trucks is it's not. It's 12 volt batteries, but it's in series to make the 24 volts. Oh, okay. So it's not a 24 volt battery. It's I basically see. just operating this as 12 volts in series to make 24 volts. I see. And with the architecture, what it does is allows us to have less wiring because you don't have as much amperage needing to go through those wire wire gauges. So that can help with the efficiency when it comes to that. It also helps us when it comes to components not having as much voltage or amperage going through those components, mm. which can wear and tear on those components. And and it also allows us to get that new technology. As you see in these trucks today, more and more of these trucks have more and more technology or more and more electrical systems right. incorporated into them. Right. And that, that with the, having that, that 24 volts, it helps control that, that amperage that goes to the system, systems and it allows us to give more products and less uh, wear and tear on those products. Right, right. Well, I'm going back to something that you, you, all, you all did have a surprise in store for us today. We're gonna get to that in a minute in terms of battery electric, yes. right? But um, there's a lot of, you mentioned the, the system here, there's a lot of battery management, a lot of intelligence built into the system. Can you tell me about that? What does that do and, and what, is it, what does that offer? Yes. So we have a battery management system in this truck, which means it's monitoring the, the health status of the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, with the 24 volt system and also the, the batteries in a, in a series to make the 24 volts, we also put enough monitoring and sensoring in there to make sure that the health of the batteries stay uh, in a good condition mm -hmm. and it's giving that information not only to the driver when they're driving down the road but also to their back office support so we're fully connected with our control units our ecus that are identifying any issues that may occur yeah. but also giving the driver enough status with the battery management system it's it's also designed to protect the life of the battery so prolong the life of the batteries we have an ultra capacitor that goes into that right. uh, that helps with cranking the, it gives enough crank cap capabilities to where it's not going to deteriorate that battery over a shorter period of time, it prolongs the life of the batteries. Well, so, and so one of the things there, I mean, electrical issues, when we talk about maintenance, yes. unplanned maintenance, right? Yes. Electrical issues pop up a lot now, and it can take time to diagnose those and troubleshoot those and that kind of thing. So I imagine yes. the intelligence brings some more clarity to, to any issues that might might crop up. Yeah, so with the electrical, with the 24 volts, we've also been able to modulize some of the wiring harnesses. So we basically put them off uh, one main, a couple of main harnesses that come off, but that's uh, and then offset from those harnesses a more modular system. Okay. So then that way, what it allows us to do, having a modular system, we have areas of identification which you can pinpoint those certain areas that might have some troubleshooting that needs to be taking place. So then it allows us to troubleshoot it much quicker and also diagnose it and get the right part available as quickly as possible. And, and the great thing is it allows our suppliers to be more prepared to provide that to our to us when we need it 
and it gives our, our, our distribution centers, our parts department, our dealerships enough uh, leverage to get some parts on, on hand in case that has to happen. We have to troubleshoot it and repair them and put, replace it in a much quicker time. Right. Something else you mentioned I did want to call out and spend a minute on just the ultra capacitor because yes. this is new. And I feel like, correct me on the number here because I don't know if I'll remember the, the exact one, but in the session it was like fully charged. It can start the truck up to 20 some, more than more than 20 times on its own. On its own, yes. Right. That's so crazy startability. 22 cranks it can do right. on its own. That's yes. amazing. Yes. That's really it cool. needs to be recharged. So yeah, that's the great thing is it, and that's where, it, like I said, it doesn't, you don't have to occupy your batteries to make that, that cranking capability. So right. if you're constantly turning off the truck, it's going to help protect the life of those batteries and prolong the life of the batteries. And that's what we, we really see the benefit of the battery management system, benefit of the 24 volt system, because you're not having to draw all that power off the batteries as much as you need to. And then having that, that, uh, that ampage lowered and the voltage increase, it's also going to protect some of the, the health of the battery uh, the components like the alternator, the starter, oh, sure. which are 24 volts as well. A colleague of mine said, you know, think about, you know, you, you, when you create ampage and then you create that heat, it's that electrical resistance it, it occurs when you're trying to push that through a, a line. Mm -hmm. And the lower the, the, lower the uh, voltage, it's, it's more, amp more ampage is needed to push that power through the line. Mm -hmm. If you get higher voltage, it's less amperage. That way it protects that line from being damaged or, or losing its efficiency. Right, right. Well, I, I, this is trucking sustainably, so I got to bring it back to sustainability and decarbonization. The right. v, all new VNL, we're, we're launching with a diesel powertrain, but you've have, you have announced that this is the platform for future powertrains when yes. we go into hydrogen, or you even teased here, you showed off a little prototype of a VNL electric surprises yes. to the end uh, yes. at this event here. What do you, when, you, when you're designing this truck with that in mind that this is going to be a broader application. What goes into that decision? What, what, what do you have to look at? Well, I think, you know, we have, we have targets and goals. If you heard from our management team that to, you know, get more sustainability to reduce the carbon footprint as much as we can. So we're going to bring that technology to the market. And the great thing with this truck that now that we've been able to build it from the ground up and, and restructure the architecture, whether it's 24 volts, whether it's a new electrical system or whether it's new components on the truck that's going to make this truck more, even more efficient, it allows us to get to that next level of technology as well and introduce that into the market. Right, because just just as a reminder and a refresher for me too, the battery, like on, a, on the VNR electric, it has its battery propulsion system for the yes. powertrain, but then it has its own battery. I, I believe that's still 12 volt for all the other componentry that's going on in the VNR. So when this comes to market, it'll have that 24 volt. Yeah, I mean, well, the actually the, the VNR system. electric today has 24 volts. It's basically, oh, okay. yes, it does have okay. 24 volts. And it's, a, it's, it's four batteries in series. And basically what it, it it allows us to have that uh, start ability, I mean, that, that 24 volt capability. But when you need lighting, for example, that needs 12 volt yes. capabilities or electrical connections to your trailer, yes, yeah. it has a conversion down, a converter there that lets it go down to a 12 volt uh, necessity for any type of app, um, apparatus or components that need that 12 volt capability. Okay, so, so surprises around every yeah, turn. Yeah, so it's even in this truck today, I mean, you we have 12 volts still in this truck. We have to have a 12 volt connection for trailers because they're not at that 24 volt level. Mm -hmm. uh, the great thing is with the 24 volt, it, it gives us the opportunity to maybe even go further when it comes to voltage. Right, I'll stop there. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate you th taking the time. I'm sure we'll talk more when sure. we do eventually get there. Yes. And I think we're gonna head back out on the track and get behind the wheel of the VNL some more. So Sounds good, appreciate. sounds good. Enjoy. Thank you, Jason.